Welcome back to a very special episode of H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Today is special because we are doing the last automatic pistol in the spawner available as of today. So we have saved a very special one for last just by complete coincidence. But boy, did it work out. We are going to look at the SP5K from H and K, yes, we're doing an MP5. I mean an SP5. Here we go. The MP5 SP5K. Well, that's a lot of letters. What's going on with this? Well, it spawns here in Home Pistol Automatic MP5 SP5K. It is chambered in nine by 19 millimeter. No surprise there. And it is an MP5 converted for civilian use to be single fire only and in this case with no stock so it becomes a pistol yeah sure <laughs> all right well this is going to be a bit of a long episode because we have a lot to cover but i will start by saying i am just covering this line not all the mp5s i will give each one of those great mp5s their own uh, video down the road for today we're doing the sp5k family so there's a lot of stuff in the spawner we've got different magazines we've got a drum we've got a pick rail we've got all this stuff well let's cover it all here we go we're gonna start with the different types so we've got the straightforward SP5K, no stock, uh, single safe, of course. And then we move up to the A2 variety. A2, uh, same as the MP5A2, has a solid fixed stock. There you go. Looks like an MP5, except the front's different, right? Then we're moving on to the A3. Now we've got a collapsible stock. Look at that. Nifty nifty, otherwise the same. The only difference is the stock. And finally, we've got the uh, 5K folding, which is a surprise, a, if I can grab onto it correctly, a folding stock. So the differences are just the stocks between all these. So let's take a look at the magazines. We've got five different magazines here. We've got these 15 rounders. There's a straight one and a curved one. Ta-da! No witness holes. Now we move up to the 30 rounder. Straight and curved. Nice. Now we're talking. And the big dog. The 100 round double drum. Ooh, crazy. I see you. I see you. It's two eyes and a nose. <laughs> The controls on the SP5K are very simple. We've got down in the trackpad for a magazine release. There we go. We've got, get back in there. We've got left on the trackpad for safe and semi, and that's it. There's no uh, bolt uh, hold open. There's no bolt release. There's no hammer cock or decock, but it does have the bolt here can be raised into this locked open position. And you can do the MP5 slap where you strike downward onto this knob, like so, to charge the bolt. And uh, no, you don't have to press any buttons or any at any time or grip it or anything. You just have to be moving your controller in that direction. It's actually very easy to do. Ta-da! So, uh, oh, uh, one thing to note is it does not lock open on empty. So, there we go. Whoops. Okay, so if you want to put a new magazine in and get going, you've got to manually rack it. So there's two ways to do that, the way I just did it, the way most things do, just straight back and straight forward. Or you can do a two-step process. You can hold it open, change your magazine, hello, change your magazine, and then slap it closed. Either one works totally fine. The ejection port is actually on the right side. A little tricky. Check it like that. There we go. Oh yeah, and the safety is ambidextrous, which is nice. So I'm gonna briefly show you how you can recognize which MP5 this is. The SP5, the pistol version we're talking about today, has got this rather unique foregrip area, which 
kind of looks like their suppressed variant of the MP5. This is the SD1, MP5 SD1. Uh, they kind of made it look like that with the little ribs, but this is not a suppressor. This is just a like a barrel shroud kind of foregrip holdy area. It's, it's not a suppressor. So uh, what else we got that looks like this? Well, we've got your full MP5K, which is the same basic thing, but now it's been converted to single only. You can see the foregrip is completely different. So that's an easy way to tell the difference. So the real question you're asking, can you do an MP5 slap on the bolt with an MP5? Let's find out. Nope, has to be your hand. Let's talk attachments. Let's see what we've got. We've got a lot to choose from here. Let's start with uh, on the top. Does there have any rails on the top? No, it does not have any rails on the top or bottom, but it does have a Picatinny rail adapter in the spawner. You attach it on the top there and now you've got a nice long pick rail on top that you can attach all kinds of goodies to. So you can put your red dot up there. There we go. Lovely. And now you've got rails. It will take compensators. It looks pretty goofy. There we go. And it will take suppressors. So now you've got a suppressed MP5 single sh or uh, semi only uh, it will not take four grips on this funky four and it will not take the mp5k prototype let me see there's mp5k4 proto uh, prototype four grip i tried so it does not work on the sp but it will work on the regular uh, mp5k which is what it's for this is a little tricky to get in there there we go. Uh, nice. If you want to release this, grab behind the foregrip here. Whoops. Ah, it's tricky. There we go. And pull it away. So, once again, no. I tried. I tried shoving really hard and it won't go in. It won't go in. Go in. Uh, where was I? Oh yes, attachments. Okay, so the uh, SP5K will also take a stock like so and i picked one of the stocks that actually slopes downward from where it attaches if some most of them slope up and will actually get in the way of the sights and you don't want that you want the ones that go straight or goes down let's take a look at the sights we've got the standard mp5 sights the starting default one is this v shape on the back and this barrel does rotate you can just click it uh, hover your little your little grabby ball over it and click the trigger and you can switch between these little apertures. They are teeny tiny. Click one more time. Switches. Another. Ah, come on. Like that. Another. And we're back to the start. So I would recommend if you're doing these, it's easier if you grab the folding stock version, excuse me, the collapsing stock version, because that will let you adjust how close this is to your eye. You can scooch it and get it way up close. If you're going for distance shots with this, this is the way to go. Yeah, much better. But that will indicate, and also because it's only got one, uh, uh, it's only got, fuck me, goddamn. One of the nice things about the SP5K is you can use it just like a regular pistol. You don't have to have uh, your second hand up front. You can just hold it out and shoot it just like a regular pistol. You can use two hands if you want to and get that extra recoil reduction, but you don't have to. Here we go. It's about time. We're going to do a recoil test with an MP5. Ooh, I'm excited. Are you excited? All right. Well, this one is a pistol, so we can hold it one-handed or we can hold it two-handed. So we're going to do both. We're going to attach stocks. We're going to attach compensators, suppressors. We're going to go through the whole thing. We're going to try it against the ones with the fixed stocks. We're going to be here all day. 
All right, here we go. No stock, no attachments, no nothing. One-handed. Here we go, as fast as I can. Ooh, a mixed bag there. 873. Good result. Little jumpy. You could see it would jump out and come back and jump out and come back. Ooh, good result though. Now let's try it two-handed. Now the hardest part about doing it two-handed, I find, is getting the darn thing on target. So here we go. Yeah. It's just tricky to hold it with two hands. I don't know what the deal is. Well, two hands without a stock, I should say. So 873, I wouldn't hold it two-handed without a stock, to be honest. Uh, I've done this test a number of times with a number of pistols in this kind of configuration and it always ends up the same it's just too wiggly like this it's much more stable like that look at that see wiggle don't wiggle let's try it with the compensator i know you can barely see it but it is there here we go hmm kind of jumpy eight eight one so a good number, but it felt kind of a little bit jumpy there. So not a big improvement with the compensator, I got to say. Let's try a suppressor. It's starting to look like an SD version, isn't it? Here we go. Ew, all over the place. 887, though. Nearly the same score. Ah, not a big improvement. Not an improvement at all, I'd, I'd say. <laughs> Losing my fucking mind. Losing my fucking mind. Let's do the stock. I'm going to do the A2 variant, and then I'm going to try the one that doesn't have a stock and add a stock to it, see if there's a difference. What do you think? I don't know. Here we go. A2 variant. Yes. We are even loaded. How, how fancy is that? Here we go. <laughs> we did finish. We did finish with a nine, seven, three. <laughs> Yeah, not a big surprise, to be honest, that a MP5 would be accurate. Uh, but this is the short barrel version, so uh, it's good to see. Let's try it with an attached stock. Ooh, can we beat the A2? Ooh, 913. So an improvement for sure. Great vertical. Got a little bit of wiggle left and right, though, I'd say. All right, we're going to do stock and compensator. Ready? Here we go. Ooh, 9-4. Good result. Trimmed some of the horizontal uh, deviation, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Look at all those holes. They're all in the same hole. Here we go. Attached stock, an attached suppressor. Sure, that's a pistol. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Right. Sure. Sure, that's a pistol. 9.27. We're definitely in the wiggle zone at this point. Really good scores. Getting all nines out here. Got a couple straight eights, I'd say, but, uh, oof. I mean, whatever. It, this is a pistol. Uh huh. One more test just because we're going to try the red dot, the suppressor, and the fixed stock. Here we go. Ooh, 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 nine, four. Yeah. Yep. That's about as good as it's going to get. Yeah. There you have it. The MP5 SP5 K in nine by 19 
Thank you very much for watching. This has been all the automatic pistols that are currently available in the spawner. I'm sure there will be more down the road and I will have separate videos for them. But for now, this is the end of this section. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the revolvers. Don't worry, there's a whole lot more videos to go. I got a lot of these to do. Oh boy. And until next time, I will see ya. Every time. Every time. Oh, crap. Ah.